a tough angle to see what's going on there. He is by far the most tenured of the Blue Jackets coaches, having been with the Jackets organization since day one. But because of the nature of his job, video coach Dan Singleton is also the only member of the staff who has never seen a Blue Jackets game live. Never. No, I've never seen it. I've watched every single Blue Jacket game on TV, but I've never been to one. Uh, my last NHL game was probably 1998 that I saw live. That's because Dan Singleton doesn't do his work here on the Blue Jackets bench with his fellow coaches. No, to get to Dan Singleton's office, you got to follow the team corridor, the hallway, back into the team dressing room. And back in here is where you will find Dan Singleton. It's one of the reasons why he never sees a game live, because he's always back here in his office working on what else game video okay thanks singleton's role has always been vital but it's become much more high profile as of late before i would basically sit in there and i would have nothing to do well i would be marking the game but then i wouldn't really have to perform or show anything until the intermission and now you have to be on your toes all the time uh, um, for replaying clips or for the goal challenges technology is the reason behind the change the newly mandated cameras in the goals and on the blue lines at every rink combined with the monitors that are now behind every bench gives Singleton more video streams to keep an eye on. And just as importantly, a conduit with which to share video with coaches as the game is going on. I think I spent a lot more time uh, pulling back plays so that the coaches and the players can watch it immediately after the play has happened. So they'll, the play will happen on the ice and they'll come right back off. Uh, they can look at either the monitor on the floor or the monitor on the side and see exactly where the breakdown was or see what they want to correct. The monitors behind the benches have been vital in that change and vital in assessing whether or not to make a challenge. Singleton and the bench are in constant contact. Yeah, I never came close to the goal line. It was through them and underneath and behind, but uh, nowhere near the goal line. The monitors allow everyone to get the same picture at the same time. So before the bench monitors, I was on the hook for making the call entirely. Now they get to see what I'm seeing. Torts is able to have that information himself when he makes the decision. Aside from the monitors, the blue line cameras have changed Singleton's world immeasurably. Uh, whereas now you can have a pretty good degree of certainty before you make your challenge. So that I would expect we'll have fewer fail challenges on the offsides especially. It looks like it takes a little bit of a hop there. The Jackets challenge late in the home game against the Caps was upheld, paving the way for a Jackets win in overtime of that game. The play was offside. We have no ball. That gave Singleton MVP status as he was presented with the coveted Kepi after the game. Uh, it was great. It was great. It was just a great experience all around and a great night. And a big two points against a really good team. So it was you know, it's something that uh, makes you feel good about it. With the combination of technology and experience, it's a feeling Singleton will likely get a chance to experience again. Dave Metzold, Fox Sports Ohio.